Well, the family of detained Australian writer Yang Hang Joon have written a letter to Anthony Albanese pleading for him to champion their father's release when he visits China this weekend. Let's bring in the acting opposition leader, Susan Lee, who's uh, got the reins while Peter Dutton is uh, off to a trip in India. Susan, uh, good to see you. Thanks for your time. So where should um, Yang Heng Jun sit in the Prime, uh, Prime Minister's priority list for his trip to Beijing? Very high, Pete. Uh, Yang Heng Jun has been arbitrarily detained in China for four years, and anyone who has read extracts from the letter from his sons to the Prime Minister absolutely feels for this family to be in a tiny cell with no natural light and in a situation where his health is clearly deteriorating. This is an enormous worry. So we were pleased and recognised the good work of Australian diplomats and indeed the government in releasing Chung Lei, but Dr Yang is absolutely and sh it should be front of mind for the Prime mm. Minister on his forthcoming visit to China. Yeah, you mentioned Chiang Lei there and um, the, the policy that the government took, uh, you know, without the loudspeaker seemed to work for her release. So would you champion a similar approach this time? The government should be working through every single channel, diplomatic and otherwise, but the Prime Minister is going to China, he's going to Beijing. He should raise this forcefully with the President and the Prime Minister. And he said he will raise it, but, Pete, there's raising it and there's raising it. It really does need to be made very clear that this is not acceptable right. to Australia to detain an Australian citizen arbitrarily for so long in solitary confinement in such awful circumstances. Yeah, nearly five years for him now. Uh, on to economic matters, Susan. Inflation, it is not yet under control. Rates are likely to increase next week again. I, I did put this to the Assistant Treasurer this hour as well, but his view is that the policies are working to help people with the cost of living, and that includes bulk billing incentives that begin with GPs today. Do you agree? Well, they're clearly not working, Pete, because the government trots out this shopping list of all of the things that they have done to reduce your cost of living. But if you ask any Australian, um, do you feel better off? Can your family budget stretch to the costs that are coming your way every single fortnight? The answer is no. It's clearly more and more of a battle. Uh, food's up 8%, rates, rents are up 10% and other costs are following. Insurance, medical bills, in spite of these measures that the government says they've taken. So it's really tough and it just shows how out of touch this Labor government is for the Treasurer to say, um, nothing to see here. Well, there's clearly... Um, all sorts of problems that need fixing with a proper plan to uh, tackle inflation. And I'm really worried as we go into next week, Melbourne Cup Day, that we're going to have another rate hike. And economists are predicting possibly another one after that. And that is going to be awful for families yeah. in the lead up to Christmas with um, already the challenges of, of meeting your, your payments and everything that Christmas brings. I know as I walk around the shops and I see all the Christmas... Um, items out. I know for some families that's going to be a real worry when you've got children, when you've got to fill stockings, when you've got to buy presents, when you've got to go to school functions. You know, it all adds up at this time of year and it's an enormous pressure on families.